All right, Shalom. Shalom. It's your brother, your water's out. Your brother, the hub. Back at you again with another quick sit down, man. Lord willing, it's edifying to the point. Before we get started, we're going to get infinite honors, blowing prayers to the most on the sun. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of GMS who rule well, teach the truth 100% no cut. Double Shalom and salutation to the Akin pushing the word across the four winds, true faith, sincerity, giving all diligence. You know, just get into a quick lesson, man. Just. You know, back to the basics, you know, just proving that we are the people and we're about to, you know, enter into our kingdom, the kingdom of Yahshua, the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, the true kingdom of heaven, man. Okay. And just, you know, just some quick hits, man. Just, you know, common sense. Like Brother Tazayo, I kind of like to say, man, common sense ain't too common, man. Okay. But, you know, hey, we're going to get straight into it. Get uh, Bob Kasha, uh Romans 18. No, Romans, it's like it, not 18. Romans 8 and 16, Baba Kusha. Right. You know, because, hey, man, all this going on over there in Palestine, you know, in Israel, man, those, they, they, those, are, not our, those are not the people, man. They fighting over our land, pursuing the Joshua, the 15th chapter. You know, read the chapter on you. You know, read the chapter, your whole chapter, man. That That's our land, man. In particular, you know, that land they fighting over, that was given to Judah, man. Ashdod, you know, the coast part, you know, that, that was that was given to, to Judah, the tribe of Judah, man. But Israel, man, they fighting over our land, man. That's not their land, man. Okay, we are the people of the Bible, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay, and it's proven, man. Okay. And they, Lord willing, we of the elect, man. Because they, so we haven't, they, the Lord put the spirit on us to accept this Bible, this, this truth, these scriptures, in this whole and sincere in this entirety, man. Oh, we're not offended by it. You know, some things might cut you. You heal from it, man. You just hey, that's something you need to work on. If it cuts you, you need to work on, man. Work on it, man. The Lord is showing you mercy by you being able to acknowledge, okay, well, damn, this right here, what this brother said, this lesson, what it's going into, damn, man, I, I can work on that. Man, that's mercy from the Lord, man. Okay, but hey, only the elect are gonna be able to receive this engrafted word, which is able to save their soul. What a hey, what it say Israel uh seek matter of fact, we're gonna get it. Go ahead, Ak Bab Kusha. Yes. Get, matter of fact, go ahead, get that, get that, Bob This Kusha. is Romans chapter eight, verse sixteen. Right. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. Right. And that, what's the spirit, man? We're gonna get it, go ahead, Ak. That we are the children of the most high. Right. And I jump from that. Get uh John six and sixty three, Bob Kusha. Mm -hmm. This is John chapter six. Verse 63. Mm -hmm. And it reads, It is the spirit that quickeneth. Right. The flesh profited nothing. Right. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Right. So if you're able to receive this word, okay, in this in this entirety, man, hey man, you bearing witness that man, you you are Israelite, man. And most importantly, if you're not offended by that, you of the elect. Now from there get John uh seven and uh what what thirty six, Bible Kushar. This is the John, 7 and 38. This is John 7 and verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures had said. As the scriptures had said. That's the spirit. Go ahead. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters, man. These scriptures, man. These scriptures are considered unto, likened unto like the, the, the water, the blood, man, of the Lord, man. Okay. If you're able to accept these scriptures in their entirety, man, and not be offended by it, man. Shit, hey, is a chance that hey, you're an Israelite and you're of the elect, man. Okay, matter of, you had something? Uh, I was looking for it, but uh, uh, you give got me that Rome, Give me that Romans 11 and 7, Baba Kusha. Okay, I got you. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for. Right. But the election had obtained it, and the rest were blind. The rest was blinded because the election are the ones that's going to accept the truth, man. Obtain the truth, man. There ain't going to be no offenses. Man. No, man. Hey, we under we recognize and understand through the spirit and power of Yahweh. We went off. Everything that we're going, to, going through is to bring us back to the Heavenly Father and the Son, man. Okay, we have to drink of that cup, man. We have to go through this. Look at when we read the scriptures, you truly dive into the scriptures. Look what Yahweh shot went through, man. And we ain't even we ain't even going through is not even nothing close to what the Lord went through, but we still have to drink of that cup. 
we still have to bear our own burdens, man. And we have to accept it and be not offended by it. When it comes time you to get rebuked, for you to be corrected, for you to for you to correct yourself, man. For you to change how you how you how you feel and what you think, man. Okay, and put those emotions to the side and put y'all by Shim Yahweh Shah in this ministry in the body first, man. Okay. That's that's in, that's the accepting the scriptures in its entirety, the good and the bad, man. Okay, and moving forward, man. Okay, not moping on the past. Not goddamn being offended because you was corrected. If it's all through the spirit, then, man, you just got to move forward, man. What else do you have? What else do you have to look forward to, man? Okay, because Israel, we always, even when we was young, before we came into the truth, it was always a, it was a feeling, especially the men of the Lord, the men that sent this truth, Lord willing, we endure to the end. So when our apostles and elders on down to us, younger brothers, man, it was always something in you, like, man, what you was doing in the world wasn't right, or it's something more, I'm bigger than this, like, man, this shit just, this ain't it, man, it was always an empty, just, just an empty vase, man. Okay, but when you come into when you came into this truth, man, it was constantly getting filled and filled and filled, running over, getting filled and filled and filled, man. Okay, you come to this truth, man, you'll never thirst again, man. You come to the truth, you'll never hunger again, man. All you gotta do is dive into these scriptures, man. It does something to your spirit that only if you dive into it and you truly and you sincere, you'll understand, man. Like this, this is this is it, man. And we gotta hold on to it, man. We gotta take the, the we gotta take like like Denzel said on that movie Fences. You gotta take the crookeds with the straights. Hmm. You gotta take the good with the bad. You gotta take the crook crookeds with the straights, man. And move forward, man. Show yourself, men. Everything ain't always gonna go your way, man. From the time you was a child until you, especially when you get grown, man, shit don't go your way. Okay, and when you was a child, you raised right. Okay, that father figure, that true father figure, he let you know right then and there, man. Shit, hey, boy, hey, shit don't work out your motherfucking way. This foundation's already been laid. You gonna, mm -hmm. hey, this is how you, this how I'm gonna raise you. This how you gonna move forward. Not how you feel, because then you're gonna leave them to ruin. Mm -hmm. That's the same with this truth, man. Hey, you, hey, you have to hey, accept this. You got it out. You got your precepts a lot. This is Matthew chapter you break 3, it down too. verse 11. It says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, who whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Right. Just going back into, oh, uh, you know, those rivers of living water, man. It says, I indeed baptize you with uh, unto with water unto repentance, man. You know what I'm saying? These these scriptures are these are these true rivers of, rivers of living water, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, it, it, and it flows, man. It flows right through us, man. And it gotta flow out of us as well, man. Exactly. You know, unto repentance. So we gotta come back, man. We gotta come back to the heavenly Father, man. Right. You know, and constantly repent, man. You know. Uh, 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 show show that accountability, man. Right. You know, be sincere. You know, and put off that nigger culture, man. Because mm -hmm. this 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 society, what it, it teaches Jake to do, uh, Jake to chase after, man. When you grow up as as a kid, especially nowadays, man, it teaches you. It don't teach you how to to leave a legacy for your children. This this Babylonian captivity don't teach you none of that, man. It teaches you how to destroy your nation. Destroy your people, how to destroy your children, how to destroy your house, how to destroy yourself, man. It teaches you, goddamn, you chase a. All this society teaches Jake is to chase a fat ass, mm -hmm. to do drugs, get high, sell drugs, be a court jester, be a fucking clown or an entertainer for the captive. It don't teach you nothing about goddamn serving your power. It don't teach you who you are. None of that, man. It keeps you away from who you are, man. Yep. It keeps you away from your power, man. Okay, and matter of fact, grab that real quick, man. Get uh Deuteronomy 28 and uh to be a sign and wonder. What is that? Deuteronomy 28 and, and like 47, I believe. You got it. I got I, you. Or like 44. I don't think it's 47. Mm -hmm. Okay. It might be 46. Right up in there. You got it. I got you. Deuteronomy 28. Not the proverb and by word. Huh? You, yeah, matter of fact, you grab that. Go and grab that. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, that matter of fact, I think that's it. Just Deuteronomy 28 and 37. It says, and thou shall become an astonishment. Yep. A proverb and a by word. Hey, one thing about it, just another a quick note. You know, hey, just to prove, hey, man, we are the people of, of, this, of the scriptures, man. We are the ones that fit these curses, man. Because wherever you go, 
wherever you go, everybody know know how to say nigga, know the word nigga, and know mm-hmm. who to goddamn put nigga on, man. Mm-hmm. You so-called Negroes, man. Okay, Latinos and Native Americans, man. Wet back, engines, you know. Nigga. They, man, ain't no, they, ain't, they ain't calling Amalek that. They ain't calling Ham that. They ain't calling goddamn Ishmael that. I say sand. No, but the, the nigga, the by word proverb, man, well, everybody know about Jake. Yep. Everybody goddamn the, the the world know about Jake and his wickedness, man. They 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 didn't they didn't pimped us out, man. Our nation, man. Okay, but the Lord left a small remnant that was gonna come back to him, man. It wasn't gonna be a horn, man, after these nations and and tricking that for these nations, man. Okay, go ahead, Doc. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna jump down. Be a sign mm, and a wonder. Kind. I'm gonna jump down to uh, verse forty-six, and it and they shall be unto thee for a sign and a wonder. All right. When you go into Deuteronomy the twenty-eighth chapter, start at verse fifteen and move up. That's all the curses. All the blessings is uh, uh twenty-eight and one through fourteen. Okay, go ahead. Uh. And upon thy seed forever. Your children. What they say, them them old Edomites, we down here in the south, the Confederate, goddamn, South Mississippi. Mm-hmm. They call them neglets. <laughs> Go ahead, Doc. Uh. Verse 47, it says, Because thou servest, servest not the Lord, Yahweh, thy power. Right, and what Esau promotes, what these other nations promotes. In order for Jake to come up and make a little bag for himself, he have to serve these foreign gods, man. Mm-hmm. He had to serve these idols. He had to serve these nations, man. He had to make mockery of himself, make mockery of his people. Okay? Go ahead, Doc. Gotta be a fucking homosexual. Right. Uh, Because thou ser- servest not the Lord, Yahweh, thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Right. For the abundance of all things. Right, for the abundance of all things. Quick example. Look when the Lord delivered us out of Egypt with all those miracles he showed, man. That power he 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 man he 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 led for as an example, man. Yep. And look what our people, they wanted to go back to fucking Egypt. They couldn't handle a, a few days without, you know, they wanted to go back to being in fucking bondage. They were crying to the Lord to get them out, and then when the Lord get them out, show them all his power, show them the favor that he had for them. What they want to do, man? They want to go back. They want to go back. Things get a little just a tad bit hard, man. You motherfucking, our people are, man, they, they deserve everything the Lord give them, man. Mm-hmm. We just pray and hope that we called and chosen, man. That we endure to them, that we of the elect, man. Right. Ain't no looking back in this, man. You got it, bro. It says, verse 48, Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, mm-hmm. which the Lord Yahweh shall sin against thee. Hold on. That the Lord shall sin against them. Man, those over them Am- Am- Amalek ain't serving nobody. Hmm. Amalek getting paid. Amalek goddamn leading a charge of goddamn bullshit, man. It's the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Mm-hmm. That goddamn shit, man. You we serving. We over here goddamn still wanting reparations and 40 acres in the mule and right. trying to and, and, and Jake over here selling plasma and shit. <laughs> Getting fifty dollar gift cards and shit, man. man. Our people, man, the ones that's fucked up, man. Go ahead, Ark. Salaki. All the way. It says Drugged out. Which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst yep. and in nakedness and in want of all things. In the want of all things, man. Jake gotta goddamn get permission for everything. Jake, you have a birth certificate. Jake, you got a social security. Jake, you gotta pay taxes. The first, man, if you paying taxes, that means your ass is a slave. Come on now. All right. You get license, that means you need permission from your master. Yeah, your master, not your ma- your master. Mm-hmm. <laughs> master. Jake, you fucking slave, man. Only one that's going to deliver us and redeem us is Yahweh Shah, man, who the world is going to call Jesus, man. Not Yabba Dabba Do, not goddamn, none of that old, man, it's, it's Yahweh he is. No, so like Yahweh he is, he exists to be the Heavenly Father, and you got Yahweh Shah. He is the savior, man. He's the redeemer, man. That's it, man. It's Yahweh by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, the, 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 the son, man, and the savior, man. That's it, man. And you hold on to that. You cherish that. You pray to that, man. You pray to those names, man. Okay? Yeah. And you, hey, you be obedient, man. Because the heavenly father will was done through his son, man. 
He gave his son the charge. So we worship Yahweh Shah. Yahweh by us worshiping Yahweh Shah is us worshiping the Heavenly Father Yahweh, man. Mm -hmm. All right. But it's just to go again, man. The kingdom, we the kingdom is for us, man. We're not in the kingdom. The only way the kingdom will be established is when our big brother come back and just and, and put down this kingdom and raise up his, man. All right, and only the elect are gonna be the first one, the first fruits, man. That's gonna watch it, goddamn, start from the, the bottom to the top, man, and put these other nations in subjection, man. All right, that's why the scripture tell us, don't worry about what these heathens seek after. Don't worry about chasing the bag. You, you worry about your daily bread and and and, and being obedient to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to the best of your ability, man. Mm -hmm. You have more on that. You got a precept? Yeah, they got more a little bit. All right, more. and then we'll jump from there to Matthew the sixth chapter, around like a thirty-six verse. You got it. It says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Oh, shit. All you got to do is Google yoke of iron. Back to the basics. Google yoke of iron. Mm -hmm. Who you going to see? It's on Google still. Right. Shit. Go ahead. Right. Until he has destroyed thee. Got your ass thinking you an African-American, Afro-American, a colored, a nigga. Come on, man. Go ahead. Uh. You said Matthew 6. 6 and uh, uh, 36, 36. Baba Kushaw. This is Matthew chapter, well, it ain't got 36. Salakia, they stop at, th what, 34? Mm -hmm. Uh, Salakia, Salakia, uh, start at, um, 30. Let me see. 30. It says, uh, this is Matthew 6 and 30. More, uh, where, wherefore, if the Most High so clothed the grass of the I right, start at 26, Baba Kusha. All right, 26. Behold the fowls of the air, for they so not. Start out with the heathens. The heathen seek for these. Okay. Uh, you see it? Well, you 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 get you can uh, start at thirty. I, Bob Kasha, you can get straight 30. to it. Okay. All right. Is it verse 30? Six. Let me see. Shalakia. We start at, um, start at 25. Bible Kishah. All right. This is, uh. Shalakia, Israel. This is Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. It says, Therefore I say unto you, take not, take no thought for your life. Right. What ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. Right. Nor yet. For your body, right? What ye shall put on it, right? Is not the life more than meat, right? And the body than raiment, right? Don't worry about chasing no bag, trying to live the American dream, because the American dream in actuality is a nightmare, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, worry about your daily bread. Worry about serving y'all by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Worry about repenting daily. Okay, praying to the Lord, begging him for mercy, salvation, for him to have pity upon you, man. These are the things you ought to be doing, man. Don't be worrying about no fucking realms, speakers, and big flashy house, all these different women, cars, and clothes, all that's bullshit, man. That's mm -hmm. shit heathens worry about. That's the shit heathens push on you, man. All right. With these rap videos and these different movies and shit that commit adultery. They these hoes ain't loyal shit. A tickle, a broke nigga, a goddamn, a, a bitch. All that old bullshit, man. No, man. Seek the Lord ten times more, man. Go ahead, huh? Like that's like that like that's the best life you that's can death. fucking live, man. It says, uh, verse twenty six, behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap right. nor gather into barns. Right. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Right. The Lord or feed the the, the the birds, the fowls of the air. So how much more you, man? Okay. Go ahead, huh? Are ye not much better than they? Exactly. Go ahead, up. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubic unto this, unto his stature? Right. Make yourself grow. Think about growing a foot. Can hmm. you do it? No, you can't. Go ahead, up. And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field. Right. How they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. Right. And, and yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Right. So the Lord going to look after you. Man, this, bro, the glory that the Lord is going to bestow upon us. 
Man, be satisfied, content with what the Lord has given you, man. Mm -hmm. If you got four motherfucking outfits in your closet and two pairs of shoes, goddamn it, man, be content. Mm -hmm. If you can eat every day, goddamn, fill your belly every day, goddamn, and drink water every day, you, you live up on a man, be content, man. Go ahead, up. It says, verse thirty. Wherefore, if the Most High so clothed the grass on the of the field, mm -hmm. which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, right? Shall he not much more clothe you, right? Of O oh, ye of little faith. O oh, ye of little faith, man. Jake want to do everything on their own by themselves and think that they are the ones that give the increase. The Lord give the increase, man. Right. The Lord make it rich. The Lord make it poor. The Lord uh, kills. The Lord goddamn heals. The Lord, the Lord brings up from the dead. Man, the Lord does everything, man, for mm -hmm. us, man. Everything. But Jake, you you didn't let this damn society goddamn take you away from being appreciative and understanding who you serve, who your power is, who loves you, man. Your mama, your daddy, your uncle, your auntie, your grandma, your grandpa don't love you like you like like the Lord, man. Right. Don't nobody love you like the Lord. Shit, like you, like the grass, man. Who who plant grass? Yeah, Esau got the little man, but grass always been there, man. Mm -hmm. Who put the earth here? Hmm. The earth able to function by itself, man. You know, of course, with the Lord, but look what the trees grow randomly. So how much more the Lord gonna take care of us, man? We serve him, we we his chosen people. He gonna look after us, man. He gonna make sure that we do what we supposed to do. Shit, the Lord grew us, man. Mm. We ain't say I'm gonna be five foot two, five foot seven, five foot eight. Right. And the Lord chose everything. We ain't say we're going to have this job at this point in time, be able to eat, feed, out, take care of our family. The Lord do that for us, man. Go ahead, huh? So when you come into this knowledge, how much more you got to praise the Lord, man, hmm. and serve the Lord? Go ahead, huh? This is verse 31. Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink? Wherewithal shall we be clothed? Right. For after all these do the Gentiles seek. That is. See, after the, that's what the heathens seek, man. We ought to just, hey, serve the Lord, man, and move forward. Go ahead, mm -hmm. up. Verse 32. It says, uh, for for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Right, the Lord know we need these things. Now the Lord know what we need, for we know what we need. The Lord know what's best for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the? I mean, go go ahead, uh, Salah. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High that's and your, His righteousness. And that's that's the point right there. And that's what we're gonna enter into. What's on the screen right here, man? You seek that first, you're gonna receive that, man. That means you're going to put everything behind that, man, and put this forward, man. Mm -hmm. Put this first. Everything, hey, you get the Lord first and everything else circle around it, man. Yep. But the Lord come first. In order for you to enter into this right here, you have to labor, man, for the Lord, man. All right? If it hinders this work, man, you got to you, you, you gonna have to figure it out, man. It can't hinder this work. If you want this kingdom, man, you shit, you got you to gotta move forward, man. You got to submit yourself to the will of the Heavenly Father, man. He that endures to the end, the same shall be saved, man. You got to put your, when you put your hand to that plow, ain't no taking it off, man. You know, we are the people. This is you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true Israelites that the Bible speaks about. We are about to enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. The elect, first and foremost, two-thirds, ain't going to get it. They're going to enter in through the loins of the elect, man. Yeah. But that's all I had. Uh, you got it? You got anything else? Uh, not basically. John, and with that, hey, Lord willing, this was edifying to the point. We're going to end up giving infinite honors, glory, and prayers to the Most High and the Son. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, and Don't want to start apostle and elders of GMS who rule well, teaches the truth 100%, no cut. Okay. Double shall of warm and salutation to Akim, pushing his word across the four winds. And true faith and sincerity, given all diligence. Quam elect the Yashallah. Yashallah. Hey, Shalom. Shalom.